Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where we will discuss topics about how to push a STAD Pro physical model to the iTwin analytical synchronizer. In this particular video, we're going to take a look at our newly created iTwin analytical model and review some of the members that were created in this file as they were exported from the STAD Pro physical modeler. Now in the iTwin analytical synchronizer, you're going to notice all of your linear members are going to be described as curved members. If I expand this list, I'll be able to see all of the members that are in this model along with their appropriate properties. Now how does the iTwin analytical synchronizer obtain this information from the STAD Pro physical modeler? Well, let's take a moment to return to our physical modeler screen and review some of the properties that can be assigned. So now as we turn our attention to our STAD Pro physical model, which was used to create our iTwin model, we'll be able to see some of the properties that were assigned to each of the members. All of the member properties are assigned by selecting members in the STAD Pro physical modeler and then using some of the tools available in both the properties and edit area. For this particular model, we've assigned section properties and material to properties to all of the members in the model. Several members have already been assigned an attribute, and we've also defined some of the member rotation, the member end fixity, the axial behavior, and the cross-sectional position for several of the members in the model. To review that information within the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, you can go to the Spreadsheet tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and review the different pieces of information available in the spreadsheets. Now that we've reviewed our members and the properties that were assigned to them in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, let's take a closer look at those members and how they exist in your iTwin Analytical Synchronizer. So here we're going to take a look at all of the curved members in our model. Curved members basically just means a linear member in the iTwin analytical synchronizer. Each member is given a label. This will include the attribute that was assigned in the physical modeler, if there is one, along with the section properties and material properties. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at one of those. To take a closer look at any member, you can either select its checkbox over in the objects window, or you can use your cursor to just select it right on screen. So let's go ahead and examine some of these properties a little bit more closely. And the first thing I'm going to take a look at is the use field. Now in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, I did assign an attribute to each of the members in the model. And the different attributes that can be assigned are beam, column, or brace for members. There are certain programs, depending upon where this iModel might be headed to next, that would require an attribute or a use field to be assigned to them so that the program can understand the difference between a beam, a column, and a brace. Let's go ahead and scroll down a little further, and then we're going to find our material properties and section properties that were assigned to each one. Now, both of these different parameters were assigned in the STAD Pro Physical modeler. Here you can see I used a standard section from the AISC sections database. I used a W8 by 10 to define this member and I assigned it using a custom steel material property. Now how does the program have the information on the material and section properties for each of the members within the model? Well let's take a look at this member for example. Now, if I wanted to review any of the material properties or section properties that were assigned, I can go ahead and turn off that curved member in the model, and then I'll be able to find different material types. Here we can see the material type for steel, and I will find the particular material property that was assigned to that member. Here we can see all of the parameters were defined using the catalog items in the STAD Pro physical modeler. In addition to that, since this member did use a standard AISC section, I can go to the table section area and 
find the appropriate section properties that were assigned to that member. Here we can see again that all these section properties were brought over from the database that was used in the StadPro physical modeler. Now for this particular model, I have both standard sections and some prismatic section properties. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of the prismatic section properties. And here you can see I have a concrete column. I can go ahead and select it in my main window. I can see the attribute, the section properties, and the material assigned to this member. If we go ahead and scroll on down, we're gonna notice that the section property section two was assigned to this member. So where do I see that information? Well, let's go ahead and return back to our main screen for our objects. And we're looking for the objects entitled parametric sections. If I pull this menu down, I'll be able to see all the different parametric sections that were used in the definitions of this model. And these are brought over officially from the STAD Pro Physical Modeler catalog page. Here I can see section number two, and I can see that this was a 12 inch diameter solid circle. In addition to that, we're also going to notice that the concrete material property has also been brought over because it is assigned in this particular model. Now that we've gone over the section properties, the material properties and attributes, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the specifications that were assigned also in our SAD Pro physical modeler. So I'm gonna to return to the curved member area and select one of the members within my model. Here we're going to see in the curve member area, the different pieces of information that were assigned as specifications to this particular member. Let's now take a closer look at the axial behavior field. As you can see, the axial behavior has been successfully brought over from our STAD Pro Physical Modeler. You will also notice that the member orientation, the placement point, and the location have been successfully brought over from the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, and all of these can be visually seen in the 3D rendering of the structure. Lastly, you'll notice that the member end fixity has also been successfully brought over from the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. So let's go ahead and wrap up what we learned in this particular video. In this particular video, we showed you that all of your members that are defined in your STAD Pro Physical Modeler are brought over to iTwin as curved members. The label for each member is identifying the attribute the section properties and materials that were assigned to them. Those section properties and material properties are brought over from the catalog page of the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, and they are entered either as a type of material, concrete or steel, or as either a standard or prismatic section property. In addition to that, we also saw that several of the specifications assigned to the members, including beta angles, member end fixity, axial behavior, offsets, and cross-sectional position were correctly brought over from the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. At this point, this concludes the process of reviewing our members or our curved members in our iTwin analytical synchronizer from a model that was pushed from the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.